Welcome to Bioengineering 112A Tissue Mechanics. We're here on the landing page for the course in Triton Ed, and if we navigate to the course information link, we can find out important details about the class. Our course is called Tissue Biomechanics and focuses on the biomechanics of solid tissues and organs. We meet this quarter at 11 a.m. to 12.20 p.m. in Warren Lecture Hall, room 2111. You know me, I'm Andrew McCulloch. My office is in Powerfolk Bioengineering Hall, and I don't have office hours, but you can always make an appointment to come and see me. We have two TAs who are both bioengineering PhD students, Holly and Ray, and they'll introduce themselves now. Hi, I'm Holly. I'm a second year, and I'll be your TA for this class. Uh, hello, I'm Ray Wang, and I'll also be your TA for this class. Ray will have his tutorial session on Monday afternoons from 3 to 3.50 in Peterson Hall, room 103, and Holly will have hers at 3 to 3.50 p.m. in Warren Lecture Hall, room 2112. So that means we will see you four days of the week. In Bioengineering 112A, we build on the theories, concepts, and methods of mechanics and continuum mechanics that were introduced last quarter in Bioengineering 110 and apply them to the mechanics of hard and soft solid biological tissues. We'll focus on the mechanical properties of bone, soft tissues and muscle including the elastic, viscoelastic and contractile properties. We'll introduce constitutive equations starting with linear elasticity applied to bone mechanics and it'll progress to nonlinear elasticity of connective tissues such as ligaments and tendons as well as blood vessels. We'll look at the viscoelastic properties of soft tissue and then we'll go on to the mechanics of muscle uh, and if we have time we'll look at the mechanics of growth and remodeling as well. Biomechanics involves not only the study of mechanics theory and problem solving but also experimental techniques for studying tissue structure and mechanics as well as bioengineering design and so these topics will be included in the lectures and the regular homework and design assignments. As Bioengineering 110 was last quarter, Bioengineering 112A is also flipped and there will be interactive video lectures streamed online via PlayPosit as they were last quarter. You'll get credit for reviewing the video lectures before the start of each class. I've also made use of a new discussion forum feature of PlayPosit to allow you to generate questions and comment as you watch each video. We'll try to address at least some of these questions at the start of each class. Then we'll work on problem solving and question and answer, during which time we'll quiz you with eye clickers to encourage interaction and active learning. You should all have an eye clicker from last quarter and as the, was the case last quarter, you can use someone else's eye clicker if you have a roommate or someone who has one, but you cannot share one with another student enrolled in this class. There will be another option available as part of a pilot project that UCSD is conducting to use a browser on your laptop or an app on a mobile device uh, using what's known as reef polling. There is an iClicker Reef app that's available for mobile devices or that you can use via a browser on your laptop. There is an iClicker Reef app which is available for mobile devices or you can use via your browser on your laptop in class. But in order to install these and use them, you have to first enter a free trial code by following these instructions online. The way the app works is you will be able to use either the app on your mobile device or your laptop or your clicker in class, but not both in any individual session. So from one session to another, you can change, but within a session, you have to use either the Reef app on your device or browser or your clicker. If you try to use both within a single session, you'll get no points. There is a prescribed textbook this quarter by Jay Humphrey and DeLang called An Introduction to Biomechanics, Solids and Fluids Analysis and Design. This is the first edition. There is now a second edition. Either edition will do. 
Um, many of you may have purchased it last quarter, but it's actually a required text for this quarter and for next quarter. I'll be assigning reading and problems from this textbook during the quarter. Grading is similar to last quarter. Homework and design assignments will be worth 35% of the total grade. There will be four homework assignments and three design assignments for which you'll have more time and which will earn somewhat greater credit. 10% of the grade will be awarded for completing the PlayPosit video before the start of each class. And iClicker quizzes during every class will count for 20% of the grade after dropping the three lowest session scores. You get three points for answering a question and an additional one point for four in total for giving the correct answer. There will also be a practice midterm that will be a take-home exam uh, that won't count towards the final. And then the final exam itself will also be worth 35%. The grading policy is the same as last quarter, um, only that this quarter, because of those design assignments involve a design report, those will not have to be handwritten like the homework assignments do. However, um, that doesn't mean that you cannot hand write or hand draw drawings for your design reports. The late homework policy will be the same as last quarter, and I uh, just want to remind you about the UCSD integrity of scholarship policies that are written here. All cases of suspected academic dishonesty, including collaboration, plagiarism, and cheating, as defined by UCSD regulations, are automatically referred to the UCSD Academic Integrity Coordinator. Let's take a look now at the schedule for the class. If we go to the content page, you'll see the course schedule here. On the first day after this welcome, we'll give you a broad introduction to biosolid tissue mechanics and an example of the mechanics of the heart. Then, for the next couple of weeks, we will work on bone, starting with the structure and mechanical testing of bone, then constitutive equations for bone, so uh, the constitutive theory for hooking and elastic solids and its application to bone. Some work on the analysis of particular problems in elasticity that are applicable to bone mechanics, and then a discussion of bone growth and remodeling and some of the theories that have been developed to model bone growth and remodeling. Then we'll move from hard tissues to soft tissues, starting with the structure and function of collagenous tissues, such as the connective tissues like ligaments and tendons. We'll spend quite a lot of time on the mechanics of soft tissues in general, uh, including strain analysis and nonlinear finite deformation elasticity. So uh, we extend elasticity here from linear elasticity to nonlinear elasticity from infinitesimal strains to large strains and in order to do that we're going to need to introduce the conservation of energy a topic that we didn't have time to do last quarter that will enable us to uh, examine in detail the application of nonlinear elasticity to soft tissues uh, and we'll do some examples on the structure and mechanics of blood vessels and stress analysis of blood vessels and there's particularly good material on this topic in Humphrey's book. Then we'll go from elasticity to viscoelasticity because real biosolid tissues all have some fluid-like properties as well that makes them viscoelastic and an excellent example of a highly viscoelastic soft tissue is cartilage. In fact, cartilage is known as a poroelastic material because it's mostly fluid. Then finally, the last part of the quarter, we'll work on muscle, starting with the structure and function of skeletal muscle and muscle mechanics, and then moving to the structure and function of cardiac muscle and cardiac muscle mechanics, and finally, cardiac pumping function, how the muscle mechanics of cardiac muscle translates to the pumping function of the heart. So you can see that why we will both apply and extend theories from mechanics that we learned last quarter. This quarter is really quite different. We're really going to focus on real tissues and their real properties, how we measure and analyze them, and what they mean in relation to the physiology and function of those tissues and organs. As with last year, you'll find the PDF versions of the lecture notes in the content folder, together with links to the PlayPosit videos, we have five of them already there, and homework assignments as well as practice problems. So for now, you should get started on lecture one and we look forward to seeing you in class.